Hi, this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center, here with another fun at-home science experiment. Today, we're going to make a pendulum. What you need is a piece of paper, some string, scissors, a pencil, some tape, and the battery. Um, that'll come in later. First thing you need to do is to take your paper, and we're going to twist it into a cone shape. Um, it doesn't really matter how tight you make it. And then we're going to trim part of the edge off. But first we need to tape the side. Like that, along the edge. And then I'm gonna trim the top, just so that it's straight. The next part can be a little difficult. I'm going to either take a hole punch or a pencil and put three holes around the top of my cone. One, two, three, around the top, and then we're going to put string into those. All right, now we're ready to play with our pendulum. I've put the three holes in around the top, and I've tied a string into them and tied them together at the top as well. How a pendulum works is you pull it to the side and it'll swing back and forth. When it's up at this side, this is potential energy. When it's moving and straight down there, it's kinetic. And then again, potential right there. It switches on and off. That didn't swing very much because we need a little extra weight. This is where the battery comes in. It's a perfect size for this type of pendulum. So when I pull it to the side, it swings back and forth. That works a lot nicer. So try this experiment at home. Let us know how it works for you. Maybe you come up with a different pendulum design. But whatever you do, tell us your results at scienceoffcenter.org.